Hello, my name is uh, Michael Mutevi. I'm an e-learning officer at Kabbalah University, and I'm going to give a brief uh, introduction to institutional repositories. Now, a repository is defined in the dictionary as a place, a room, or a container where something is deposited or stored. An institutional repository stores, organizes, and provides access to an institution's research output, scholarly publications, public documents, and more. So in a library, typically, we store items in shelves or archives and access them uh, via a catalog using indexes like call numbers. So these items could be physical books, pamphlets, newspapers, or they could be digital, like uh, CDs, floppies, and uh, many more. Online repositories are digital repositories with items stored centrally on a server and are commonly accessed online via a web browser. Some advantages of uh, digital repositories they are easily accessed by users who are distributed geographically. For example, you could be in uh, Kampala or you could be in Gulu and uh, you can all access a repository that's located in Kabal. You could even be in different continents, like you could be in Europe or America and you could still access items available within the repository in Kabal. They're also easy to search. For example, you could search by title, subject, author, publication, date, and uh, many more fields. They're also easy to duplicate and replace in case of damage. As you know, duplicating books is expensive, and it also takes time. But duplicating digital items is just a matter of copying, making a copy of it, a digital copy, which is uh, instant, almost instant. Online digital repositories are accessible by web crawlers and search engines. And this accessibility is the major criteria for university rankings. We're going to look at uh, Google Scholar and how Google indexes repositories to make this point clear. So, uh, we have uh, several digital institution repositories. Some are free, some are paid for. Most of the popular ones are actually free and open source. We have, for instance, DSpace, ePrints, Dataverse, and OJS. Those are software platforms, which are incidentally all uh, free and open source. Then we also have online platforms uh, like ResearchGate, Academia, Biomed Center, and more. Now the software platforms, are you have the ability to download the software and install it on your own server and have it running in your own data center. For the online platforms, they are hosted uh, by a company like ResearchGate or Academia, and you can subscribe as a researcher and have uh, your research profile and you can also attach your research and have it in their repository. Our focus at this point is the DSpace software platform. Now DSpace is free and open source. It's an online platform solution developed by MIT and HP Labs. MIT is the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and HP Labs are the guys that make the computers and, and printers HP. Uh, this space is the institutional repository of choice, uh, institutional repository software of choice for Kabbalah University. And we have it hosted at uh, idr.cab.se.ug. So it looks like you 
then uh, we also have uh, some notable implementations of DSPACE in other universities, both internationally and also within Uganda and East Africa. We've got MIT using DSPACE. This is the implementation of uh, this space by MIT. We've got Macquarie University. Macquarie University is the oldest university in Uganda, and it's also using this space. We've got the University of Nairobi, which is also the biggest university in in Kenya also using uh, this space software. And then we've got Stellenbosch University, which is uh, one of the big universities in South Africa. Its uh, repository is called Sun Scholar, and it's a very popular repository. These are champions of this space. I've got several others uh, all over the world using this space. So like I said, uh, our this space implementation is called CubDIR. It's a short form of cover Dictor repository. And it's found at idr.cub.se.ug. That's how it looks like. So some of the benefits of DSpace software, on top of the obvious benefits of an online digital repository, DSpace is structured to allow for digital identif identification of research using standard methods such as authors, subject, publication, and several other fields that uh, can be very useful in uh, identification of research. It also allows global visibility of the institution's research as it's highly optimized for academic search engines like Google Scholar indexing. Uh, we're going to uh, see this in detail shortly. But Google Scholar is naturally, uh, naturally indexes uh, repositories like this space. Then also, this space allows easy data exchange between different systems using different data exchange standards such as OAI and REST. We have uh, platforms like open open access platforms like ROAR, R O A R, which uh, use OAI to harvest from repositories and propagate research. So the fact that this space allows for easy data exchange, it's easy for open access platforms like, like those to be able to, to pick research and propagate it all over the world. So Google Scholar and this space, usually when somebody goes to Google, and search and searches for something, they get all sorts of results. Most of the time, if somebody is looking for research, Google search is not going to return useful information for for research. So Google has another branch called Google Scholar, which is used by scholars, researchers to find and researchers to find uh, research that is considered to be from authentic academic sources. Google recognizes authentic research repositories using its complex algorithm. Some uh, some of these repositories indexed by Google, naturally indexed by Google, include this space. There is a ResearchGate, Harvard Dataverse Network. Dataverse is also an open source platform developed by Harvard, just like this space was developed by MIT. We have OGS, Open Journal System, which is a journal management system, which is also naturally indexed by Google Scholar, Good Biomed Central, and many others. So 
with Google Scholar, if you have a Google account, you can have a Google Scholar profile. And if you have your research in any of the repositories, which is considered an authentic research source, like this space, what uh, the Google search engine does is that it indexes your research and it's available on Google Scholar. So if you have research on, for example, the Kabbalah University repository or Makere's repository or any university using this space or any other authentic uh, repository, Google Scholar will be able to pick up your work and have it available for researchers to, to find. As you can see, just by typing my name here, I get uh, suggestions of research that could be mine. And if I have my work on this space, chances are I'll be able to find it here and add it to my Google profile. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.